Seven to zero. And C4. Okay, item C4 is a public hearing for vacating petition B16 2014 made by property owner Big Cat Rescue Corporation to remove the public interest, if any exists, in those right of way reservations as described in a deed recorded in Hillsborough County official records, the 22368, pages 14, 17 through 14, 21. Particularly, um, the subject reservations are located over the northern and eastern 15 feet of the petitioner's property as measured from the half section lines of the northeast one quarter of the northeast one quarter of the southwest one quarter of section 11 Township 48 South range 17 East. Um, the property is approximately 1250 feet south of Citrus Park Drive and 1450 feet west of Veterans Expressway. Um, the parcel was recently acquired for development expansion of wildlife sanctuary operations and existing operations are located directly to the southeast of the subject property. The subject reservations are referenced in a deed between private property owners and Hillsborough County makes no claim or opinion as to the validity of any public interest in said reservation. However, the petitioner's title company has listed the reservation as an exception to the title policy and this request is to provide the petitioner with evidence that the public interest in said reservations, if any exist, is extinguished. Reviewing agencies have no objections to the petition, though staff has received a letter of objection from an adjacent property owner. However, that objection is in regards to an alleged prescriptive easement, which is a private property manner and not within the purview of this board. Staff respectfully recommends approval and next counsel for the petitioner is present to answer any questions of the board. Thank you, Ms. Hall, for your thorough explanation. This is item C4. Anyone wishing to speak to item C4, please move come forward. Welcome. Good morning, I'm Pamela Jo Hatley, uh, 14519 North 18th Street, Tampa, Florida. I represent the parcel owner, which is Big Cat Rescue Incorporated. As was explained to you, this right-of-way reservation um, just appears on deeds to this parcel, historically appears on deeds, and that creates a cloud on the title. Um, there's no right-of-way at all that appears on any county map. There's never been a road built on this parcel. There's no history of the county ever maintaining a right-of-way on this parcel. And there's no history of the public ever using any uh, reserved right-of-way on this parcel. This property is not platted. It's not part of a recorded plat. So there's no dedication of any right-of-way on a recorded plat. Um, there's no record of, of any dedication or any acceptance of any dedication by the county. It's just been historically repeated on legal descriptions, indeed, among private parties. So, why are we here in this process? It's the only way that this property owner can get this cloud removed from his title. Um, so the, the property owner, owner is here requesting you to um, approve a vacating of a right of way that doesn't exist to clear a, a cloud in his title. The objections that have been brought by adjacent property owners, um, as was explained to you also, have to do with the assertion of a private right they're asserting that they have a right um, based on a prescriptive easement, based on use um, that they assert they've been doing for many years, moving cattle from one place to another across this property. Um, please note that if that is the case, if they have established any prescriptive right, that is a private right, it is not a public right, and any action you take today will not affect that private right. If they have a private right, if they do, it will not be affected by the counties having vacated this um, right-of-way reservation. Uh, one of the opponents, in fact, uh, Mr. Alex Gonzalez, has written a letter to the county acknowledging that fact. He said in his letter, let it be understood that the vacating of the right-of-way in this petition is independent from the existence of the prescriptive easement, which he has searched, and uh, stands on its own merits. And he's right. This action today, if the county takes action to vacate the right-of-way, does not affect any private right that he may or may not have. Um, the other opponent, uh, Dr. Shaffey, also asserts a prescriptive easement right, uh, again, which is a private right, not a public right. So the question of whether um, either of these landowners or these, um, these um, op opponents to this process today would have any right is not affected by the county's uh, action. And since the reservation is not an actual right-of-way established on any county map, 
and the county has not maintained the right of way or you, the public has not used a right of way, there's not been a dedication or acceptance of a dedication, it's actually in the public interest to uh, grant this and help the property owner clear his title and we request you to do that today. Thank you, Ms. Sapley. Anyone else wishing to speak to this item, please come forward. Welcome. Good morning, Andrea Zellman, Buchanan and Gersel Rooney, Tyler with Dogs, 501 East Kennedy. <laughs> Excuse me. And we do represent the um, neighboring property owner to the east, Dr. Greg Shaffey, and we do object to this vacating. Um, we don't believe that vacating this right-of-way reservation serves the public interest, um, either the interest of the neighboring property owner or the public <laughs> at large. Um, as Ms. Hatley alluded to, our client and others have been using this reservation of right-of-way um, to move cattle. They were aware that the right-of-way reservation was in the deed because it's in all the deeds in that area, and all of the neighboring property owners in that area have always assumed that this was in effect, public right of way that, that anyone in the area can use. Um, they've relied on that for years. Um, vacating it would cause damage to them. Um, again, all the owners in the area are aware of this reservation, have been aware and have been using it. Um, in fact, the applicant for this vacating has filed a declaratory judgment action telling the court that the um, they have doubt as to the legal rights to this right of way. So what I would urge this board is while these various legal arguments are being played out in the court to refrain from um, getting into that process by vacating the right of way. And I'm going to reserve some of my time for um, Andrew Shaffey, who is also here to speak on behalf of Dr. Shaffey. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, my name is Andrew Shaffey and my family has an ownership interest in the 11 acres uh, due east of the uh, property at the subject uh, where this right-of-way exists. Uh, my family has been a part of that uh, partnership for going on 10 years now. Uh, the reason we're here today, we understand that this venue is not to decide whether or not we can work cattle between our piece and, and Gonzo's piece, which is directly to the southwest of us. We understand that venue will be in a court of law, but the reason we're here today is, is because we're trying to figure out the logic uh, behind where the public interest would be in vacating this right-of-way. This right-of-way on Big Cat's new piece of property runs directly across the north and the east portion of their property. Gonzo's family, which is directly to the south of this property, has a right-of-way that is still reserved for the county, and directly below Gonzo is Cuesta, who has a right-of-way. Taylor Morrison's working off of Sheldon Road. Uh, Mr. Bricklemeyer's been before the county commission uh, working on that project. They're building nice homes and townhomes. That property and project is coming from the west towards this right of way. Chris Day is working from the east. He built a beautiful uh, business center. He's now working on the hotel this, uh, directly east of Easy Street, working towards this right of way. So, where the logic would be behind vacating the county's right. To this property, this 15 foot, that would allow the county to use this right of way when development is coming there, not 10 years, not 20 years, but maybe 10 to 12 months from now, does not uh, serve the public interest. The main argument that I gathered from uh, Howard and Carroll's uh, counsel is that by clearing this title for Howard and Carroll would somehow be in the public's best interest. I'm not quite understanding that. I think by reserving this 15 feet right of way for the county, when you've got development breathing down the throat of this would be in the public's best interest. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Does anyone else want to speak to this item? Please come forward. Welcome. <laughs> uh, good morning, board. My name is Alex Gonzalez. I'm the property owner uh, west of this parcel and south of this parcel. Um, Providing a map kind of overall, actually the, the survey that was submitted to you uh, for this right of way uh, in question. A right of way, uh, there's not only that right of way between uh, the argument about the cattle going back and forth, but there's also uh, there's a right of way on the north of this parcel, uh, which is also right of way prime, there's being prime being vacated at this moment in time. Uh, this right of way, uh, Tampa Bay Water recently. By the last couple of years, they ran a big water main through there. So, you know, that right of way is being vacated, but it's being used as an easement. Kind of giving you a view. Jack is to the right. Uh, 
and my, my parcel actually wraps around this parcel. Uh, south of the, uh, my parcel, um, Mr. Cuesta has the same continuous right of way through his property. Um, the property to the south of that, uh, if you look at my, uh, you know, my records, uh, there's our, I'll, actually I have a public right of way too that I have not requested to be vacated at this moment in time. But I'm here, like I said, going to the neighbor, my neighbor, Chaffee, on his concern. Um, you know, this area, if you see, also noted by their surveyor, there's gates. It's also barbed wire fencing. Uh, there's also a gate on the north end of this right of way that he uses to access cattle, tractors, maintaining Chaffee's property through the years. It hasn't, it didn't occur, it didn't happen yesterday. It happened, it's been, it's been used for many years. Uh, Big Cat, a few years ago, I think five years ago, they actually went and built a new fence, eight foot fence around the property. I was asked to move my cattle back to my property to accommodate them, that way the cattle doesn't get out. So they were aware of this uh, easement. They were also aware of the property the right away. Uh, this is this area has been real complex as far as is 150, 60 acres that it was left after Lamar was developed. Uh, I've been living there since I was 14 years old. It's been 22 years since Lamar was developed, and for some reason this this 160 acre in this area has been kind of a complex in, in a way that development has not come through there. Uh, and I'm seeing that, uh, you know, presently taking this right away away is just going to create a little more hostile environment, you know, property owners doing their thing, everybody wants to, you know, they're greed, everybody wants to get rich off their property and stuff like that. You know, I think, uh, you know, giving up the right away is going to impede or hinder on your nearby neighbors, not only us or me, myself and Shappy, but all other neighbors. Right now, the water and sewer, the major water and sewer to, the, to this area is actually on Sheldon Road. Recently, there was a development built uh, next to McDonald's, south of McDonald's, which is a business center that you all approved, also a hotel that was approved. Uh, that water and sewer is not adequate right now to accommodate future development, not even on the Big Cat Rescue property. Sewer will be coming from the west, like uh, Mr. Shaffey mentioned. Uh, the sewer will be coming from the west. I think it's you know prudent to keep this right of way as as used for any kind of utility easement, uh, you know electric water, you, you know you name it. Um, that a right of way was also to be used as a north and south corridor roadway for the future, you know, and you know shooting this thing down right now will be like you know hindrance uh, in the future for this whole parcel. So it's just going to add to the problem. Uh, the right of way is vital to this area as it gets developed. Uh, I think it's the county's best interest uh, to vote uh, against the gave this right of way. And I want to thank you today. Thank you for your time, sir. Appreciate that. I mean, um, does anyone else who has not spoken wish to come forward? Welcome, sir. <laughs> My name is Howard Baskin. I live at 7106 Riverwood Boulevard. Tampa, Florida. I'm the advisory board chairman for Big Cat Rescue. I'm sorry this matter has taken so much of your time. It shouldn't. It should go through like the other vacating of archaic language. This language was put in deeds 100 years ago when it was open land so that the county, if we ever wanted to build a road grid, could do it. It serves no purpose. Now, as, a, as our attorneys and people have not been using it today, affects any of the things my neighbors said. They just are here to create confusion to, to try to muddy the water. So I, I need to explain to you what I believe is really going on. Um, they are unhappy with me because I am willing to participate in what I believe is just a scheme to cheat the county on real estate taxes. May I use the overhead? If you have grazing land and you lease it out to someone with cows, that is a legitimate green belt tax treatment, which saves an enormous amount of taxes. This is a photo of Dr. Shafi's property, which is to the north of our, to the east of the subject property. You can see it's fully treed. It has palmetto scrub. There's virtually nothing there for cows to eat. So what they do is, particularly occasionally and particularly when the property appraiser's tax inspector comes, what they do is Dr. Shafi as Mr. Gonzalez move a couple of cows across what is now our property, it used to not be our property, and uh, put it over on this land. And 
the only way that your tax inspector can see the property is to drive down Easy Street and look to here. So what they do is right here at this circle, they put this A feeder so that when your inspector comes, he comes down Easy Street, looks over the gate, sees the hay feeder, may see a cow, and gives them the green bell treatment. And they've been doing this for years. Now, Mr. Gonzalez also claims the green bell tax exemption. And he does have some cows on his property. But having cows on your property does not qualify under the statute. The statute requires a bona fide agricultural business. This is one of Dr. Shockey's cows. Aside from being animal abuse, I find it hard to believe that cows that look like this qualify for a green health uh, bona fide agricultural use. So the only reason they're here today is to create obfuscation. The only issue before you is whether the county would ever want to build a 15 foot wide road in the middle of a field in an area that soon developers will develop and they will put in any roads that are needed. So I ask you to help us clear up the title. I think it's in the county's interest to have properties have clear title and be easily transferable. And I would appreciate your voting to vacate the 15 foot reservation, which is not effective at all. And I will deal with their other issues in the courtroom where it belongs. Are there any questions you have about what I've said before I said? Mr. Crest? Let me get this straight. What, what you're basically saying is that these two little patches of green space left in that hat heavily developing area um, is being green belted by moving a few heads of uh, fairly sickly looking cattle back and forth. Yes, and Dr. Shockey's property, I'm told, is under contract for $1.3 million. That would be $25,000 a year, roughly, in taxes you're losing. Gonzalez's property, I'm told, is under contract for $2.7 million, which would be $50,000 in taxes that you're losing. I don't want to spend your time with more detail on this, but I have a detailed document that if any of you would like, lays out what I believe is happening here. And I'd be happy to leave a copy with you if any of you want. Mr. Chairman, I've got a question of the gentleman that spoke before him. Um, I was asking the council before, before asking him. Mr. Governor, are we, um, are we OK? We're still public hearing in proportion. I'd like to close the public hearing and go to vote board discussion. Um, so why don't we do and first? Has anyone not spoken to this item? Has any, is there anyone out who wishes to speak to this item who's not yet spoken? Okay, we're going to close public hearing. Public hearing's closed. I'm going to go to board conversation. And if any board member wishes to ask a question, they may. Unless the, our council objects. Mr. Beck. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, and I'll need our, actually, our council, council's attention here, because I'll have some questions of, of you as well. Um, Ms. Selman, if you want to come forward and, just, and Dr. Shapey, I had a couple of questions. Um, you had mentioned that you thought that by us vacating the right-of-ways that there would be damages to your client or that they would lose some of their ability or their property rights. Uh, help me understand what you think would be lost by the vacation of this right-of-way. Again, for years, and I'm sorry, Andrea, they've been historically using this property to move the cattle back and forth and they would no longer have the ability to do that. Yes. Um, so this is Dr. Shockey's son. Yeah, no, no, Dr. Oh, I'm sorry. And Commissioner Beckner, what, what is going on here is not the fact that we are cheating Greenbelt. How, uh, Mr. Mendezi from the Greenbelt Department uh, was out there last week, and as a matter, we're going to be going on a hearing on the Greenbelt issue, and there's photographs taken from the west side of the property showing the cows that are in my father's piece of property. This is not a scam on the county. Let, let, me, let me stop you right here, because I don't know. It is, is the green belt relevant to our conversation here today, the vacation and right away? Because it sounded to me it's a totally separate issue that needs Entirely to be handled between separate. you two and the, and the property appraisers all Entirely often. separate. So let, let's just focus on, on the right of way. As, as, it, as it relates to the right of way here, what is it that you think you would lose by us um, vacating the right of way? I think the county as a whole would lose in the fact that if the development, not if, when the development from Taylor Morrison and Chris Day come to a head and meet in this location, if the county needs to access this property, what is the logic behind 
vacating a right-of-way that is a continuum off of Tico's easement, which is directly to the north, off of Smoky Bones, off of Citrus Park Mall. Why are we vacating a right-of-way? I'm not necessarily saying that it has a direct impact on my father's piece of property. I don't think that's what these hearings are about. These hearings are about what is the public's best interest in this vacating of a right-of-way. And I feel that by us stepping in and vacating a right-of-way that is going to be in the need here of the county within the next year to two years, I'm not finding the logic in that. So I just wanted to bring that to the county. Okay, board. thank you. And going to staff, you had mentioned that you don't believe the staff that that the county has an interest. So uh, I'm assuming with those statements, if, uh, if I've heard them correctly, that we have looked through our plans and we have absolutely no plans or no interest in that in the parcel in question. That, that's correct, Commissioner. We've researched the issue and don't believe that the county has any interest in this land here. The vacating that's before the board today is to vacate any interest that the county holds, if any. In fact, we don't believe that the county holds any interest to the property at all. There was a uh, language of reservation uh, for right-of-way and a deed somewhere in the chain of title and in the Big Cat uh, property, but it's not anything that the county was a party to, accepted, took as maintenance, took for maintenance or or in any way is treated or considering it to be right of way. The action that the board's being asked to take essentially be to clear up a question that's outstanding of whether there is a, a um, right of way reservation, but it's not a question that's outstanding with the county. The county believes there is no interest and the effect of the action that the board would take in vacating it wouldn't give up any right or access that we have today. And so in the years that it's been on the plat, we've never had a need to access it. We've never had any need to do any type of work around that area that would have benefit that would uh, that would in essence uh, uh, substantiate the um, the keeping of that right. That's correct. And the the, the right of way is not shown on even a platted right of way. It's not anything that's come before the board. This was solely in a in a private transaction deed between. Uh, predecessors and in interest to the ownership of this property. So that's correct. This is not anything the county has any plans for, has used as right of way, or considers to be right of way for any future purpose. All right. Well, I recognize that the applicant and the opponents, obviously, they have some other issues that they need to work out. Um, but in the case of the vacation of this right of way, I'm going to side with staff and I uh, recommend approval. Okay, we, have a, we have a motion of approval by Commissioner Beckner, seconded by Commissioner Murmur. Commissioner Hagen. Now, I echo Commissioner Beckner's remarks. It's a private dispute, as uh, staff just said, not giving up any right or access or doing this. We have no plans to use it as a road. Wholeheartedly support them. Thank you, Commissioner Hagen. Commissioner Chris, you wish to speak? Yeah, just for the record, I agree with Commissioner Hagen and Commissioner Beckner on this as well. Commissioner Hagen, Bob, do you have anything to add, sir? I've had my questions. Thank you, sir. Um, we have a motion by Commissioner Beckner, second by Commissioner Merman. This is for item C4. Uh, and the affirmative, the o green and negative red, please pass your vote. Motion carried seven to zero. Okay. The agenda, these are public hearings for land use. Uh, commissioners, the first four items, um, Janet Muller of our staff will present the next three items. Item. You're so awesome. I, I felt good about it. I felt like it, you have no idea how many hours in my head it took me to get it to that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it really came off good.